Hello, and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, December 5th, 2015, by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi, and our energy mantra for today is, I seize the spirit of I don't know as evolutionary adventure. And that is the thought shift for today, or your energy mantra, whatever you want to take it as. Um, we've got an interesting day. We're in our second evolution revolution day of Sun in Sagittarius. And this is where Uranus kind of takes charge of the day. And Uranus loves to shake stuff up. Uranus is preparing to go direct. Uranus is actually going direct right at Christmas time. Um, and so as it prepares to go direct, it's helping take us further and deeper into our I am vibration. And you know, that is an interesting thing in this world because I feel like from the time we're born, many of us have been kind of guided away from our I am vibration into socially acceptable vibration. You may feel this coming up today um, with the Uranus stuff as we build to it going direct and as we build to, you know, some some connections with it over the next week. So, what do I want to talk about today? We have the moon in Libra. And the moon in Libra is making some interesting connections. So the moon in Libra is going to start the day connecting to Lilith, one of my favorite aspects, and that is connecting the yes, sextile to Saturn. So Lilith and the moon are conjunct each other. So the moon can represent our emotions, what's hidden, and it's connecting to Lilith. So your Lilith will not be hidden today. Um, even Lilith and Libra is not always as harmonic <laughs> as society may want her to be. And connecting to Saturn, I feel like this is actually connecting to a Lilith breakthrough. Um, we also have Mars kind of entering into this action. Mars is at 13 degrees today in, uh, in Libra. And so this Mars energy, too, at 13 degrees, that Uranus degree, is wanting us to break through. And it's like, hey, harmony, God, you know, it's, I don't want to say harmony isn't always the answer because there is nothing I would like better than for our planet to be harmonic. I want, I want harmony. I want peace. I want it to feel good. I don't want to, you know, wake up and avoid the news because of, you know, how painful it is. Um, but I don't think that we reach harmony when we're still selling ourselves short. And so the moon today connecting to Lilith, the moon connecting to Mars, this 13 degree, this Uranus stuff, is saying, hey, harmony doesn't come when you're faking it, when you're putting on those masks, when you're not being true to yourself, and that energy is bubbling up inside being like, listen to me, listen to me. That's when anger erupts. And so the goal of this is to be true, true to yourself. And something that came up really strong with this um, is actually a saying from the Bible. I think Jesus said it, but I don't remember exactly who said it. Basically, you know, you're so busy looking for the, the splinter in somebody else's eye, that you're missing the tree trunk that's in your own. This is not about anybody else's process. And I know I keep saying that, but I think it's really important with this Libra energy. It's not about the other. It's always about you and how you're showing up for yourself, how you're showing up for those parts of yourself that you've pushed away that aren't acting harmonic within you, um, and the parts of yourself that maybe need to come and bloom further. And that's like that Lilith energy that wants to come out and create. And that's the Mars passionate energy. You know, Mars is building to um, a square with Pluto tomorrow. Mars is our passion, but Mars is also, Mars can be our, where our anger comes from. So if we're not pursuing that passion, so take some time so that that eruption doesn't have to come from you, that you can contribute to the peace by showing up as yourself. And part of this may even be that, you know, evolutionary adventure of saying, I don't even know. I know there's passion inside of me somewhere, but I don't even know what I'm passionate about. That's fine. You don't have to know. Just even saying, I don't know, gives the universe opportunity to step up and be like, here you go. What about this? So the moon's going to finish off the day um, connecting to Pluto. So transformation, it is in process. Pallas, Pallas, the agent of patriarchal change, changing the patriarchy um, focus, is catching up with Pluto in Capricorn. And the moon is working with this energy today. Let your feminine nature come forward. 
gosh, it's going to be so healing for the world when we finally let her out in her creativity, in her willingness to not know, in her willingness to change and move and just bring awareness to the feelings. What are your feelings really stemming from? So that's kind of it today. I know it kind of feels a little bit all over the place, but really this is about you and your shift and being true to you. Cultivate awareness, all your layers. There is this outside that everybody sees, and then there's layers and layers and layers. Get in touch with them. You may have to spend some quiet time today. Your Mars may not want that. Your Mars may want to take action. It may be fired up, ready to go. But take some quiet time to really tune into your passion, your creativity. It's time to let go of what you thought, what you thought you were, what you thought you wanted to create, and tap into what is coming up in you right now to be creative. Um, but take that silence to really tune in. So that's it. It's an interesting day. It's been an interesting trip through Sagittarius. But I believe in you, and I believe in your powerful peace creation ability with your powerful, uh, purposeful, powerful and purpose, purposeful um, vibration of self. So that's it for today. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.